very warm welcome I just want to show this morning I went on a mountain bike ride in the forest and I couldn't couldn't leave this this is a little pine tree that was chopped down on the side of a trail and it branched out from the bottom here and it's really grown like a little bonsai already it's got a nice thick trunk base all sorts of shoots coming out close to the base all the way here there's some nice branches there on the main trunk there's a whole bunch of little ones coming out over there and I sort of just dug it out with my hands best I could and luckily I had a jacket on I could stick it in the side of my jacket side of my jacket so I'm gonna just pot this there's another little one there's a lot of I just turned some grass around the root system here and uh, to keep it try and keep it together and moist took my water bottle sprayed some water on so there's there's some roots there here's one gnarly looking tap root try and plant it with that for now hope they make it and there's a little one obviously got ridden over check how flat that trunk is got this gnarled bend in it and I just broke it off on the top does not have a lot of roots couldn't get it out with a lot of roots but there's a bit of a tap root it's completely bare rooted there is some roots so I'll plant it in a really good quality soil and see if we can get this thing growing so yeah let me get to it plant them gonna mix a proper soil and nice free draining soil see there's a lot of little buds and shoots coming off of this trunk and I really hope it, it makes it because this will make a really nice bonsai I think both of them I could have gone back later and uh, dug them out properly but I was didn't know when I was going to go back there or get time so let's pull them out brought them home and I'll repot them and I'll show you how that goes so what I've got here is a mixture of river sand and um, and rock some grit and I'm just sieving the river sand out and then I'll remove all these bigger rocks so up to a point where I'm left with some nice fine grit and I'll put that back with the sand and then we'll mix the fine grit in with the river sand I'm gonna give this a, a couple of nice thorough washes wash it out nicely and then I've got some some perlite nice light fluffy perlite stick a whole bunch in there then I've got some nice coconut peat couple of handfuls in there I think it's pretty much a mixture of thirds and then over here I've got the good stuff this is a potting soil slash compost so it's it's pine bark sand and a little bit of uh, fertilizer so I'll just go and stick in one two three 
whole bunch of that and now I'll mix my perlite, my coconut peat, my river sand and grit and perlite all together creating this nice fluffy medium to see if we can get these pine trees to um, to root and to make it so then I just take a planting bag planter bag plastic planter bag and I put a whole bunch of this soil not too much just fill the bottom nicely okay so over here I've just put this bare rooted pine tree in some water just to hydrate it a little bit and I'll be planting it in this bag right now I really like this natural bend it was just growing like that on the side of the trail and there was actually another tree's branch a thicker branch that was growing this way in the middle of this and this obviously grew around it for some weird reason yeah. and um, like I said it looked so nice I just couldn't leave it would have been killed eventually by trail maintenance and stuff like that so putting some nice a nice bit of soil on top of it so that's what it's looking like at the moment and um, if it lives you'll see this video so I'm gonna take just a little bit of this water Give it a nice water in, water it in nicely, and I'll put this in a warm, shady area and um, keep it keep it watered. What's nice about this is it's it's got a flat side, flat sides to it, so it's round over here and flat it's really grown so interesting i think it'll make make a nice bonsai <laughs> eventually so what i'll do now is i'll just go in with my pruning shears let's do a cut on the top Okay, so I actually managed to get a clean cut on it now. I used both hands. And then I'm just using a, a tree seal that I bought at a bonsai nursery. So the guys use it for bonsai. It's probably a polyvinyl acetate base, PVA based sealer, I think. It smells like it. Giving it a good, good old seal there on the tip, and that's it. Let's see what this guy does. Okay, now number two. 
sorry just the important step before I start with the other one I've got um, pebbles rocks anything you can find that's got a little bit of weight to it stick it in the bag around the trunk of your tree just to keep it stable because the wind will blow birds will sit on it cats will will um, walk and brush up against it and so I'll just do a little pack around it like that and we'll water it in again and um, let it establish itself there properly right so here's the second one or the other one it's it had a chop over there and it made a nice branch coming off the side over there and it's growing quite a lush top uh, I was thinking of actually taking this whole branch off and I'm developing all these okay. lower branches there's more branches little shoots coming out um, I think to give it a proper good chance take this whole big branch off it's actually a nice branch but it's it's too big it's um, going to take too much energy especially for it being practically bare rooted right now uh, these branches in the back over there this I can develop um, it's quite a nice little little tree maybe I'll just take this branch down not all the way um, take them all back and then um, take this one back just up to here and then at a, at a later stage just see after it's it's grown we can um, start the refinement process so over here I've got the same got a bag filled with this soil and I'm not going to prune any any roots I'm going to stick this in here and I'm going to fold the roots inside of the bag mixture put a little bit more perlite in here keep the soil nice and aerated a little bit more river sand stick and just work the soil in between all the roots there all right and then you take your high-tech chopstick and you stick it in gently all around the roots By doing this, you're sending soil substrate into all the air gaps around the roots. And that way, when you water it in, the soil sucks up against the roots and um, you stand a much better chance of this tree surviving. So now I'll do the same 
I'll put a few pebbles, rocks on the top just to put some pressure, downward pressure on it to, um, to marry the roots well with the, with the soil. And um, I'm looking at this where they've chopped it off on the trail and they did the maintenance. And I'm going to cut it down a little bit lower where these branches, shoots are coming out. I see it's dead over there, even up to there. So, chopped it off. See it's dead even up to there. Chopping it off to there and then I'm going to take my same sealer and just apply some of that sealer over there. Alright, and then there's a branch coming down from the base. Uh, I'm going to take it down. There's a lot of shoots here. Dad. Take it down to there. Daddy. You can do something with that later on. Dad. And then this one over here, I'm going to bring it back Dad. to about level to Daddy. where I've chopped that. Okay, so I've taken that one off the top there, do the same. It's usually not necessary for the sealer, but I just want to give it the best chance. I've done this exercise in the past and I haven't had success where the trees actually die. I've also had success. I'm hoping for success here. Yeah? Um, so, let's see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking in the future I might cut this whole thick trunk off and then use this branch coming up. I'm not sure, I don't, I don't actually have a clue what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to try and let it survive for right now. Just cut all these branches back. And this one can take back a little bit further. Now it's just this little clump, this little lollipop tree, and hopefully when I show you this tree again, it would be a couple of months, maybe a year, maybe, maybe two, obviously if it made it. dead stuff and hopefully this could become a bonsai one day so I won't do much to it now obviously any further other than putting the rocks on the root system on top and um, give it a nice watering in That's about it for now. Doesn't look like much, but um, rather me trying this trying to make something out of it then it just becoming dead wood in the forest because that's 
That's what would have happened to it. Would have happened to it. Hmm. So let's water it in. So there, I've watered it in nicely. I will do some more watering later today. Oh, it smells so nice. Love the smell of pine. This is a pine radiata. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% sure. They are alien to South Africa, obviously. Um, the guys plant them for plantations, for wood production, for timber. And um, these guys have just come up from seed, blowing around. They're everywhere. It's a big pest. Um, it puts tremendous pressure on the indigenous species, tree species, uh, which is... In my opinion the most awesome tree species in the world the the ones we've got yeah in the Nisner George area the rainforest indigenous rainforest and uh, they are under pressure with a lot of alien alien trees and these pines being one of them eucalyptus blue gum uh, black wattle Saligna, um, a lot of lot of alien species, and pine is one of them. So yeah, you can just go in and chop these pines down. And you're doing a good deed. So why not take them out and try to make some bonsai out of them? There's branches coming out above and below each other, as well as over there. And um, eventually, I will, I will cut them off. I might as well take this one branch. I'll do the, I'll do the lower one. I'll do that one. Here's a nice branch coming out the bottom there. Here's one coming out above it. I'll do that one. Um, like I said, I don't want to do too much to it. I'm definitely, I'm thinking I want to keep this, this thicker branch up here. So I'm probably going to take this one out. Um, but I'm not doing that right now because I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this, with this tree later. Um, maybe, maybe I'm just going to take it, take it off because it looks awkward. Um, and then just develop this into a tree. Oh, I've got the option of removing this and letting that go but the, the, the taper difference is quite a lot you know it, it's gonna look odd I'm not a big fan of truck chop 
things and then developing it. So it takes many, many years for it to start to look like a natural growing tree. So uh, that's why I keep my bonsais, rather keep them smaller, grow them either from seed or uh, cuttings or maybe air layers or something like that. And um, I don't have a tree. I'm not very fond of this. This will take many, many years to actually develop into something natural looking. So stay tuned for the follow up on this tree. And so there I've got my few rocks in the base. It's nice and firm, solid in this planter bag. And um, I'm excited to do a follow up video on this tree, put some wires on and um, shape it into something. I just want to show this little pine. It's in Mediterranean and Aleppo pine. And I planted this tree from a seed four years ago. It's also quite an interesting special story about the, the, the seed of this tree. Um, we were in the Southern Cape here, we were in a very bad uh, dry spell. We had a drought for about ongoing drought for about seven years and um, the mother trees of, of this seedling, I've got a few of these and um, and I just love those, the way these pines grow and the color of the needles. It's For me it's a really special pine and always when I drive in the area where they were growing I can't help but stop and look at them and admire them and um, four years ago I uh, saw some cones lying on the ground and I collected the seed those trees were still alive they were there for many many years uh, probably around about 60 to 70 years those trees were growing there and unfortunately all of them uh, died because of the, the, the extended dry spell we had and um, so I was fortunate and lucky enough to uh, get some some of the seed and plant them and they, they actually grew. So I'm really, really happy about it. This little tree, all I've done to it throughout its life um, is, um, you know, I mean, the, the, the trunk is pretty much, it's not much thicker than a, than a pen, slightly thicker than a pen in the last four years. Uh, just grow, been growing it in a nice sandy gritty um, mixture free draining mixture and it's it's growing really well, healthy and um, I just did a little uh, bend wire bend to it about uh, a year or two ago and um, so I got a very smooth nothing aggressive just a chilled out little bend in it and I just just prune it I just pinched it back you can see I did a pinch on the top there um, and it just started to ramify, develop more branching and um, all I'm, I do to this tree pretty much is just going in and nip it off and they split you can see there I cut it and it split into three over there I cut split into two where I did the cut there I got a split into two there same there cut there one two three in the back so that's that's pretty much all I'm doing with it at the moment is um, clip and grow and um, and there I'm getting some nice branches coming out from here and that's the way it takes very long obviously to grow bonsai like this but now you've got control over it from a young age and developing it from 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 a young age and you don't sit with a tree that's got this huge trunk chop and you're trying to get new branches in to develop a taper um, here you you've got a natural growing little tree already after four years only four years starting to become a little bonsai and um, one day I'll get a nice spot for it 
and I'll plant it in a pot and I'll wire these branches and I'll decide on a shape for it but for now it's clip and grow getting multiple branches I am also looking at um, not having branches you know growing in the same direction or crossing over each other those I'll take out as it grows and goes and um, yeah So looking at this little, young little Aleppo pine, I'm really excited about it. I'm really going to be able to develop this in, into a nice little tree. Can take this branch back, all the way back, maybe even further. So there's a lot of, lot of work I'll do. It's not really the time to work on these things, so I'll wait another month month and a half before I start doing work on them I think it's got nice potential just wanted to show this Mediterranean pine it's got the most beautiful colored needles it's this light, light matte finished green. Such a cool little tree and grown from seed. I'm in no rush to get fast results. It must just do its thing. It's all just for the fun, fun of seeing things grow. So hopefully when you see this video I've got an update for you on those two collected uh, radiators. I still have to confirm that they are radiators but that's what I think they are. This I know is a Aleppo pine. Thank you for watching so far. We'll be back with an update.